Greetings in the name of the Lord our God, praise God. <laughs> glorious Jesus, glorious Lord, blessed day indeed. The day the Lord hath met for us, we rejoice and we are glad in it. We bless the Lord at all times, we glorify and magnify Him. In moments like this, we praise, we extol, we lift. We raise the name of Jesus. Once again, uh, it's a joy and an honor to bring to us uh, the word of the living God. I relish over these moments. I cherish over these glorious august occasions when we're given the opportunity to lift up the name of the Lord our God. speak of his goodness is to speak of his glory to speak of his glory is to speak of his faithfulness to speak of his faithfulness is to speak of his power <laughs> what we focus on gets magnified and what is magnified becomes a manifested reality so the glory of God is a reality upon our lives, the goodness and the mercy of God, because whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, we are being converted, being transformed to his very likeness and image. We, as one beholding a mirror, are being transformed and changed into his likeness and image. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. I don't know about you, but uh, to me, I would say the greatest honor is to know him. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it's the power of God unto salvation. Praise God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm going to continue to speak on the Holy Spirit tonight, uh, my brothers and sisters, once again. And I believe that uh, we shall be lifted to another realm, another dimension of the understanding of the exploits, of the power, the glories, and uh, the manifestations of the Spirit of God in clay vessels or earthen vessels, that the excellency of power may not be of us, but may be of God. And though so, therefore, we are so grateful and we are so honored and privileged once again to bring the unassailable, the unadulterated, the exalted, the anointed, the inspired, the eternal word of the living God that changes, transforms, emboldens, strengthens, empowers our soul in very succinct dimensions and very succinct ways. What a brightness of his glory radiating in our hearts and souls. And what an honor to be called by the name of the Lord our God. I wish I was a witness out there. I would be clapping my hands and shuffling my feet and screaming so hard and shouting the shouts of the glory of the living God. For God is mighty in the camp of the righteous. Glory be to God. Glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, as you're coming online, please share the broadcast. Share the broadcast on your page and send the broadcast to as many groups as you can. Let the word spread. Let the word uh, uh, be published. Let the word be exalted. Let the people be revived. Let the people be refreshed. Let the people be empowered. Let the people be emboldened. Let the people be restored. Let the people be resuscitated. Let the people be lifted by the power of the word of God. Share the broadcast on your page and share the broadcast on as many groups as you can. Spread, send, share the word of the living God. For great was the company of they that published the great news of the kingdom of God. And ladies and gentlemen, the knowledge of his glory shall cover the nations of the earth as the waters cover uh, the seas. Praise God. The knowledge of his glory shall cover the earth as uh, the waters uh, cover uh, the seas. The knowledge of the glory of God shall cover the souls of men, 
shall cover the hearts of men, the minds of men, as the waters cover the seas. You can imagine the Pacific Oceans. You can imagine the Indian Ocean. You can imagine the Black Sea, the Caspian Sea, uh, the Arabian Seas, uh, the uh, glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God. All of the great waters covering the great vast parts of the continents. That is how the word of God is going to saturate our hearts and souls in Christ Jesus. So my brothers, I'm elated once again. I'm excited. You know, I feel like blowing up. I feel like I want to lift up a praise. I feel like I want to shout. Why? Because just for the breath of God, my nostrils give it me uh, uh, the, the, the audacity to, 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 to speak of the goodness of God. Many other people would have wished to see this day, and they never quite saw this day. Many other people who supposed they will even see this day, but they didn't quite suffice or saw this day. But by the mercies of God, by the grace of God, the sun is bright, the moon is blooming, even that in the darkness, the stars are shimmering, the constellations above, the breath of God is in our nostrils, and so therefore it behooves us to magnify, glorify, lift up our praise, and say, Lord, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for the breath of God in our lives. Lord, thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the sufficiency of your grace. Thank you for the spirit of God that dwelleth and resides and abides in us. Thank you for your mercies and loving kindness and benevolence and generosity. Clap your hands, open up your mouth and give God the shortest, the greatest and the loudest, craziest shout of praise. Glory be to God. What a mighty God we serve. That the angels bow before him, even the trees glorify, and the rocks break out into praise. What a mighty God we serve, that the entirety of his creation magnifies and praises and blesses his holy name. Why? He made all things for his glory. For thou art created all things for thine glory, O Lord. For thou art created all things for thine glory, O Lord. And even so, more than that, you have created us and made us in your likeness and image. And so we are the imprint and exemplifying the DNA of the DNA, uh, divine nature of God. We carry the glory of God. We are the carriers of the glory of God, the carriers of his presence, the carriers of his might and power, and the recipients of his omniscient wisdom, and the recipients of his omnipotence. We are the agents of the omnipotence of our God, and we are the uh, recipients of the omnipresence of God. In the likeness and the image of God, we were recreated in Christ Jesus. Behold, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. The past is gone. The new is come. Our sins are forgiven us. He hath cleansed us from all our sins. Uh, he has cleansed all our sins and unrighteousness and iniquities and transgressions and all flaws and all mistakes, past, present, and future. He hath redeemed us by his precious blood. He hath cleansed us by his precious blood. He hath called us unto himself by his precious blood. And then he filled us with a spirit from the crown of our head, the tips of our fingers, the soles of our feet, the entirety of our being. He filled us with the spirit of him we have received the fullness of of God in Christ Jesus dwelleth the fullness of Godhead and we are perfectly complete in him who is the invisible image of Godhead who is the head of principality we are conformed we are saturated we are fitted we are complete in Christ Jesus he is the head of principality praise God glory be to God that is the gospel that is the good news. 
washed in the blood, names written in the book of life and the book of the Lamb of God. At the sound of his trump and of his archangel, he shall take us up. For as he, so are we. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And he hath given us all things that pertain it to life and godliness. My brothers and sisters, God has ordained his blessings in our lives. Some people say, oh, we are going to have a great life hereafter, a life of a future, a life of eternity when our eyes are closed, when the breath of God is no more in our nostrils. Oh no, eternity began right now. God wants us to be blessed in every area of our lives. He wants us to be complete because for this cause, he paid the ultimate prize he came wrapped himself up in human form and he became sin that he may crucify the sin in us that he may redeem us and purchase us and ransom us from the curse of sin and death and restore us back to factory to the original image and the original creation that he had created us to reflect his glory his eternal opulence his eternal grandeur his eternal Splendor, his eternal, excellent, omniscient wisdom. That is the price he paid for us. My brothers and sisters, we are so privileged and so honored. We are so oh shake and pull mandolaba. We need to take our rightful positions, understanding and knowing that he that began a good work in our lives hath also brought it to fruition and is bringing it quickly to accomplishment because he hath redeemed us. And therefore, all his blessings, our blessings, all his joy is our joy, all his peace is our peace, all his power is our power, all his glory is our glory, all his might is our might, all his majesty is our majesty. All of all that he is, is fullness. O Sheikh and Tolaba, we are the recipients of the same. We are not any less and don't settle for anything less. Settle for the ultimate price that he paid. Settle for the completion and the package that he presented to us. Nothing broken, nothing missing. All of himself, all of his glory wholeness, wellness, soundness, joy, peace, prosperity, wealth, riches, favor, glory be to God, wisdom, knowledge, insight, everything that he is, he hath presented to us through Christ at the ultimate price by the cross. Korabosia Oh my God in heaven, glory be to God. He resides in us. He dwells in us. He tabernacles in us. He resides in us. He has his address in us. He has his abode in us. He has all his stay in us. We are his dwelling place. And therefore his omniscience, his omnipotence, his omnipresence is all in us in fullness. Glory be to God. What a motivational day. What an exhortational day. What an uplifting day. What a rejoicing day. What a day of gladness. The day of the oil flowing. The day of glory and power. The day the Spirit of God getting started within our souls, in our spirits, in our minds, and in our bodies. The day of lifting. The day of expansion. The day of increase. This is our season of healing, of restoration, of joy, of blessings, of mighty manifestations, of miracles and signs and wonders and the entirety of the will of God presented to us, being embraced and we walking in the fullness of his purpose and will in our lives. Glorious Jesus, glorious Lord, we bless thee and praise thy holy name. Glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. He is the respect of no persons, your geographical locations, the color of your skin, your educational level, the levels of exposure, all all that he respects and honors is that you are his imprint through the blood of Jesus Christ that washed and cleansed thee and made thee into his image 
and likeness. That's it. That's it, praise God. That is it. Oh, hallelujah. That is it. <laughs> Some boss in chariots. Some boss in the vast accumulations. But we boast that we know him. We boast in the name of the Lord our God. For the name of the Lord our God is a strong tower. And they that run to it, they are preserved. They are safe. And they are sound. The name of the Lord is a stronghold. The Lord's name is our portion. Our stronghold. Oh, shake and fall about. The stronghold, the stronghold, the stronghold, the stronghold, the place of safety, the place of preservation, the place of being sustained and kept the place, oh, shake and fall about. That place, that place, that place. I'll hide thee on the cleft of the rock and I'll cause my goodness to pass before thee. That's the place. The place is called Jesus. Jesus is that place. The place of grace, the place of glory, the place of power, the place of uh, 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 the goodness and the masses and the loving kindness and the benevolence and the generosity of God and the patience of God. The place, the place, the place, the place. That is the place we are. The place of triumph. The place of victory. The place of victory. The place of victory. The place of victory. We are victorious in Christ Jesus. Don't you ever be afraid. Don't be intimidated. Don't question. Don't doubt. Don't ever think you are nothing. You are victorious in Christ Jesus. The miracle, the power, the glory is within thee. Release the word of power. Release the word of glory. The glory is within thee. The Holy Spirit of God abides in us. Glory be to God. O Shela Mandulaba. Fired up for the glory of God. Quickened by His Spirit. Glory be to God. Oh, shake and fall about. Marie Caraba, secretly. Caraba, see and fall. Marco Rose, shake and fall. Caramando, the whole shake it. Hey, my Caraba, see and fall. Marari and fall a bow, shake and tea. Carari and fall a bow. Keresek and fall a hassa. Caramando la hashi. Kerendele mandalaba. Corobo sack and fall a be shake and fall about. Carari and fall a bow, she. Caramando la bow, shake and fall about. Let's just bust in pra in praise in tongues. O shekantola mandeleri antola ba. Let's bust in tongues. He kerebe. He that speaketh in tongues speaketh not unto men, but speaketh unto God. Machela barobasa. Did you know when you speak in tongues, you frustrate all the schemes of the enemy. He gets confused. This is the language of our Father. We speak the language of our Father. The language of the devil is lies, is lies. When he speaketh lies, he speaketh his language. But when we speak in tongues of our Father, we speak the language of victory, the language of breakthrough, the language of miracles and signs and wonders, for we are released the mind of God in our life circumstances. Glory be to God. We are filled with the power of God. We are filled with the glory of God. We are filled with the glory that fills the entirety of the throne of God, the entirety of the presence of God. We are filled with the same in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Bondages are broken. Strong also strongholds of the enemy are coming down and broken chains are being broken oh shake and fall amando sicknesses are disappearing oh shake and fall above the shell above and debe shall whatever solution the people of god who are seeking for God is releasing it by his power and glory right now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god 
Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody's going to say, but you're going to reduce it a little bit. You're going you're gonna to say it in a little way, in a sound, a little sound, a little way. I'm not going to mew like a cat. I want to thunder like my elder brother, Jesus Christ. I want to shout victory. I want to shout success. I want to shout money coming. I want to shout that debts are being canceled. I want to shout that sicknesses are dis and diseases are disappearing. I want to shout nothing broken, nothing missing. I'm a package of the blessing of God. I'm the glory of God in Christ Jesus. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I've got the mind of God. I've got the victory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ triumphed over the principalities and powers and thrones of darkness. Oh, shake up the labor. They triumphed over them by the cross and he made a public spectacle over them. My elder brother, the high priest of my confession, the high priest of my confession, so that when I confess, he is my attorney, my advocate, my lawyer. He takes my words, the words I speak, they're his words. He takes them and then by his spirit, he makes them to come to pass. And so I say victory and victory is our portion. I I say success and success is our portion. Sin is broken and we are no longer under condemnation for there is now therefore no condemnation to they who walk not out of the flesh but out of the spirit for the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath redeemed you and I us in Christ Jesus from the curse of sin and death. Death where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy power? Resurrection power dwells inside of the clay vessel, manifesting the power and the glory and the goodness of God in every area. Lives, we are experiencing power. Every area of our lives, we are experiencing glory. Every area of our lives, miracles, signs and wonders, and divine orchestrations and breakthroughs. The same Jesus, the same Jesus, the same Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The ancient of days who changeth not. Forever to speak of his power and glory. To save, to deliver, to restore and heal. He is right here at the sound of this voice. Miracles and signs are happening in the name of Jesus. Korabasaka, keremendo la basaka tolaba, kende besi koboko tolabasaka, erebesi tolaba. Do that which you couldn't do before. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Korabasi tolaba. I say rise up. I say rise up. He said to Mary and Martha, Thy brother shall rise up again. 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 O Shelamando. And they said, We know that the resurrection day he shall rise up. He said, No, 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 no. Today, when you believe, he shall rise up again. Today, we only feel broken, shattered together. O Shemanda Rabbi, you don't feel like your life is ever together. You are shattered. You are into smithereens. You are Oshemando Laba, despaired of hope. You came to the end of the rope. You wonder exactly what is going on in life. Oshemando Laba lost your job. Lost your vision. Lost your dreams. Lost your passion. Lost your appetite for good things and fine things in life. Lost the sense of direction. You are groping in darkness. Confused. Oshemando Laba Sakanto Laba you are lost everything, lost everything, lost everything, good for nothing, reduced to a laughing stock. Mando Basaka, you are the prime target of the power of God this day in the name of Jesus. Like Jesus said to Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. I say, come forth.
out of your dead dreams. I say comfort out of sicknesses and diseases. I say comfort out of poverty. I say comfort out of joblessness. I say comfort out of loss of your properties. I say comfort out of business that has shattered and gone haywire. I say comfort in the name of Jesus Christ. And be thou be resurrected. I say, come forth in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, rejoice. Rejoice in he that paid the ultimate price for your salvation, for your victory. Rejoice in he that has filled thee with the spirit of God that raised Christ from the dead. That dwelleth in thee, vitalizing your mortal bodies. I say rejoice in him. Rejoice. And again I say rejoice. Begin to dance. Begin to shout. Begin to praise. Begin to say, of, to speak of the goodness of God, the benevolence of God, the power and the glory of God, the saving grace, the power of the Holy Ghost. Begin to speak the power in the blood of Jesus. Begin to speak of the power in the ministry of angels. The power in the oh, shake and fall about. The power of the power of God. Of the power of the Holy Ghost. The oil of gladness. The fragrance of God. In the name of Jesus. The aroma of God. Who said you are ugly? Who said you are stinking? Who said you are stinking? Nay, the Spirit of God has removed every stench. You are the carriers of His aroma, the fragrance, the fragrance. <laughs> You think Hugo Boss has the best fragrance? Oh, you are mistaken. You say Givenchy has the best fragrance? You are mistaken. There is a fragrance that is more glorious, more, more aromatic than any other fragrance. And that fragrance is called the oil of gladness. The power of the Holy Spirit dwells in us. The fragrance of fragrance. The aroma of the aroma. Oh, second for above, you know of the aloes, the mar, the spike that oil. Precious than all of that. Our lives are oozing with the aroma. <laughs> Displaying the fragrance of God. Not lily potions or side issues or fringe issues. But people who are filled with the fragrance of God. The V. A V, a V, a V, I peace. The aristocracy of the kingdom of God. The ox of righteousness. I say the planting of the Lord. The envy of many nations. Whereas thou art been forsaken and no man went through thee. Today God hath made thee an eternal excellence and a pride unto many generations. Of Shechem Tholabam. A pride unto many generations. The envy of nations. The envy of Jesh. The Joseph generation. The Joseph generation. The Daniel generation. Of Shechem Tholabam. The Esther generation. <laughs> Glory be to God. I'm the head, not the tail. Above always, never beneath a lender, not a borrower. I'm like a tree planted by the streams of waters that bears fruits in season and out of season. Whose leaves are always green. Who oh, shake about whatever he doeth, whatever he doeth, oh shake and fall about. Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the wicked, neither sits in the seat of the scornful. Oh shake and fall about. But whose delight, <laughs> whose pleasure and excitement is in meditating in the law of the Lord. Oh shake and fall about. For he shall be like a tree planted by the streams of waters. Oh shake and fall. And whatever he doeth, he shall prosper. Whatever he pursues, whatever he aspires. Whatever he's inclined to do, whatever he is passionate about, whatever he is pursuing, whatever his chief aims are, whatever he doeth, 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 he shall prosper. 
I say it, I'm prosperous. I say ye are prosperous. I say ye are blessed. And nothing can change that. God's mouth has said so and spoken and declared and decreed and confessed and prophesied so. And so nothing can change that. Not circumstances, not the color of your skin, not your educational level, not where you're born from, nothing. The blood works in every continent. The blood works in every place. The blood, the blood is eternal. The blood is everlasting. The blood is forevermore. The blood is without end. The blood of Jesus. I say the blood of the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. I say by the power of His Spirit, the Spirit that proceeded from the Father, Goshelaba, the Parakaletos, the teacher, the standby, the comforter, another one in His place, Oshalaba, the mentor, the one who teaches thee in the ways to go. I say the same one, the same one, the same one that raised Christ from the dead, Oshalaba, the resurrection power, Olamandolaba. The same one dwells in us, vitalizing our mortal bodies, illuminating our minds, and refreshing our souls. Kerabo Sakanto, ha ha. Libra mando la boche canto la ba, hey hey. E keramando la boche kaha, la brohosha la ba hasi. Glory be to God. Ye are so privileged, and yet you know not. Ye are so honored, and yet you don't even know or recognize. You are carriers of his glory, carriers of his presence, carriers of his wisdom, his omniscient wisdom, carriers of his omnipotence. I call them the agents of omnipotence. <laughs> the agents of the moop. Did you? Did you read? Have you not read or heard? Jesus said, greater works than this shall you do in my name. And what were the works that Jesus did? Jesus tied water to wine. Jesus raised Lazarus back to life. Jesus raised the mother-in-law of Simon Peter. Or Shekhan Tolaba. Jesus made the woman who was hemorrhaging for 12 years. And the blood hemorrhaging just instantaneously stopped in a flash of a moment. O Shekalaba, Jesus healed the blind but mouse and made him to see again. Jesus cleansed the ten lepers. O Shekalamandolaba and made their skin to look like that of a small baby. He literally restored them and cleansed them from their lepers. Oh, commando laba. Jesus made a man who was a professional fisher. Oh, shekanto laba. After he sat in his boat and taught them about the kingdom of God by the Lake Genesaret and the Sea of Tiberias or the uh, uh, Sea uh, uh, the Lake Genesaret or the Sea of Galilee or Lake uh, Sea of Tiberias, the same, same man. All the three names mean one sea, one, one lake, one sea, one lake, one sea, one lake. And right there he sat in the boat and taught them about the kingdom of God and then told Simon Peter, thrust thy boat a little farther and cast thy net, launch into the deep and cast thy net at the right side. And as soon as they did that, they caught so much fish that they had to ask for the neighbors to come. The same place they caught no fish. The same place they toiled all night long. The same place they suffered. The same place they failed. The same place they, uh, 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 they, they, they struggled. The same place they gave up, despaired of hope. The same place when they were uh, ringing up their nets and said no more uh, of this. The same, same, same place by the power of the words of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. The same place they caught so much fish. The same place until they had to ask the neighbors to come and help them. I want to prophesy and decree and declare and say, God, even in this corona period and season, is going to bless you so much, so much, that you are going to distribute blessings because you'll become a distributor of God's blessings and grace and favor. There will be so much to the bursting of the seams, for he is able, according to Ephesians 3, 22, exceeding abundantly, infinitely beyond 
is able to do exceeding abundantly, is able, able to do exceeding abundantly, infinitely beyond our wildest imaginations, our highest praise, our loftiest desires and passions, according to his power that worketh inside of us. To the bursting of the seams, shaken together, running over, glory be to God, that's the kind of blessing coming upon the people of God. The boat sinking, the o shekaban, dola ho shekantholaba, the net breaking kind of blessing, exceeding abundantly. Excess, surplus is the kind of blessing coming your way. Glory be to God. Lift up your hands and give God a shout of praise. Praise him for the coming blessings. Praise him for the coming breakthroughs. Praise him for right now. You'll be having testimonies that people will be calling and saying it has happening. It has happened. It's happening right now in the name of the Lord my God. In the name of Jesus, it's happening right now. Call, shout, praise, glorify, magnify. Ye are blessed. The power of the Holy Ghost. Nevertheless, at thy word. Thy word is truth. Thy word is spirit and life. The Holy Ghost working wonders in clay vessels. The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, the Spirit that proceeds from the Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I want to close the broadcast. You have already received your breakthroughs, your miracles, even as I've been declaring and decreeing in the name of the Lord Jesus, as I've been speaking and declaring and prophesying over your life, you catch. It's caught by faith. And you become a recipient of the manifestation of the spirit feel while spoken and released in Jesus' name. Praise God. Are you happy? Are you blessed? Give him a shout of praise if you're blessed. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? People have been asking all the time you've been broadcasting all these years. We have never seen the contacts from which we can support your ministry. I will be putting the details and you can... As the Lord leads you, you can support through our bank account or through the m -Pesa. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. And will preach the gospel to all the nations of the earth so that every ear will hear the word as we go about preaching to every nation, every kindred, every people. For Christ is coming soon. The sound of the trump is about to be heard and of his archangel. Praise God. God bless you in Jesus' name. I want to close the broadcast, but before I do that, I want to pray for those who want to receive Christ. You may feel like you're backslidden. You may feel like you've never been born again. You never had the privilege of surrendering your life to Christ. This is the opportune moment. This is that critical moment. Don't postpone. Don't procrastinate. Don't say tomorrow another time. This is a precious time. You never know about tomorrow. God wants your soul to be saved. Jesus died on the cross, shed his blood for the forgiveness and the remissions of your sins. You may have felt so discouraged. You may have despaired of hope. You may have uh, had lots of regrets, whatever it is. God will save your life in Jesus' name. You say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I come before thee with thanksgiving. With my mouth, I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. With my heart, I believe unto righteousness. Save me. Wash me by the cleansing blood. I thank you, Lord, that I'm born again. I'm a child of God. I'm redeemed. I'm filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. You are blessed. You're born again. You belong to the kingdom of God. You can look for a pastor near your place, wherever you are. If there's a good church, wherever it is, you can follow our teachings on this broadcast. And you can also go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and click on all notifications and you'll be notified every time we come live. You can be a recipient of the blessings of God that God is releasing now. These are glorious days, stupendous magnanimous days in jesus name god bless you love you all take care and please share the broadcast share the broadcast share it on your page play the watch party on your page and share on other groups send the word let the word spread in jesus name amen love you all take care see you tomorrow again in jesus name amen